and Mark Bream. Our top story this afternoon. After months of speculation, it seems a series of amendments to the South Korea-US free trade agreement could be on the cards. A special joint session between the two countries' trade representatives has been set for Tuesday next week after the Trump administration requested the meeting. Oh Se-young starts us off. It looks like the South Korea-US free trade agreement could soon be back on the drawing board. South Korea's trade ministry says hold on Washington's joint committee on the treaty will hold a special session on Tuesday in the South Korean capital. Trade Minister Kim Yeon-dong and his U.S. counterpart Robert Lighthizer will open the discussions via video conference, and additional senior-level talks will follow. The U.S. says its trade representative requested the session last month to consider possible amendments regarding market access in South Korea for U.S. businesses, but most importantly, to address the trade imbalance between the two countries. The Trump administration has repeatedly pointed the finger at South Korea's trade surplus with the U.S., which amounted to roughly 27 billion U.S. dollars in 2016. President Trump himself has labeled the trade pact a horrible deal, calling for revisions to create a level playing field for U.S. companies in Korea, as well as protect American manufacturing. However, figures from the U.S. Trade Representative Office show U.S. shipments of manufactured goods to South Korea had actually grown by 8.4% by 2015, compared to 2011, the year before the FTA took effect. That's double the average pace of growth that America saw in its exports to other countries over the same period. Also, with the U.S. economy being largely service-oriented, as opposed to Korea's comparative advantage in manufactured goods, its service surplus with Korea recorded some $10.7 billion last year, an on-year jump of 30 percent. In terms of jobs, the figures show America benefited from the creation of 2.6 million jobs in the private sector by 2015, roughly four years into the agreement. Seoul's trade ministry says it will continue to highlight the mutual benefits of the bilateral pact seen over the past five years in trade, investment and employment, and that it would seek the best possible solution after objectively reviewing the treaty's impact on both sides. Oh Se-young, Arirang News.